Welcome pilots to today's lesson we're going to talk about the AGM-88 Harm Missile or High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile with the F-16 Viper inside of DCS World and why the F-16 is the king of suppression of enemy air defenses or SEED for short. Before recording this video I took a community poll asking what your favorite aircraft to be used for the SEED role and the winner by a large margin was the F-16 with the F-18 coming in second place. So what makes the F-16 the king of seed, you might ask? With the addition of the Harm Targeting System, or HTS for short, we are able to find and quickly engage enemy air threats with high speed and deadly accuracy. With the HTS pod, we can use the Harm Attack Display, which provides an amazing source of situational awareness that no other aircraft inside of DCS World provides at the time of this recording. In addition to the HTS pod, the F-16 can carry the ALQ-184, electronic attack pod which provides self-protection for the F-16 while operating in a complex radar guided environment. Today we're going to use the AGM-88 Harm and take out the tracking radar of an SA-3 site which is one of the more common SAM sites you will encounter. After we release our Harm missile to destroy the tracking radar and suppress the SAM site, we will follow up the attack with CBU-105s which are cluster munitions to take out the rest of the launchers and ground support vehicles in the area. This method is commonly referred to as DEED, or destruction of enemy air defenses, but I want to showcase the full potential of the F-16 Viper today. If you would like to follow along with this tutorial, I have included it in the pinned comment below, which you can download directly from the DCS user files section. Make sure you check out my F-16 JDAM Ripple tutorial if you want some help dropping JDAMs for maximum destruction by clicking up here on the top right or in the description below. Alright, let's get into the cockpit of the mighty Viper and show off these capabilities that we've been discussing. Flare. Okay, welcome to the F-16 here on the Caucasus map, and today we're going to be going after this SA-3 site at Steer Point 1. Remember, you can download this mission yourself in the pinned comment if you want to follow along and do it yourself. So the first things first, on the left-hand side, Master Arm is going to go to Arm, which it is, and on the right, Make sure the left and right hard cheat points are on for the HTS pod and the targeting pod. Next, we'll click on air to ground. On the SMIS page here, has our CBU-105s on the left-hand wing. We'll power those on. And we'll click on OSB-6 on the top right here for the AGM-88. That's the harm. Make sure we power that on. So this is the currently selected air to ground weapon which is the harm, which is what we want. So we'll click on HSD so we can have the threat rings here. Kind of just going over here to the left here so we can avoid going into that SAM site right now so we can finish explaining just a couple of things. We want to next bring up the HAD page. Currently the SA-3 has just become active. He's not currently tracking us right now, just got a currently uh, SA-3 nails. So everything is okay. Come over here to the left. And we want to bring up the HAD here, so we have the FCR page up right now. If we actually double left click on Flickas, we can change it to HAD here by selecting it. And it does say not soy, we need to make that soy with display management switch aft. And it is now soy with the solid white box. We'll come back and talk about the HAD in just a second. Next we want to make sure we turn on our ECM. So we want to make sure we're in the semi or auto position. I prefer the semi position. And come down to the ECM panel. It is in operate. We'll go to number two today and make sure we select all six bands right here. Next we'll hit counter measure management switch aft to make sure it goes into the active mode. Now if you go to the number two position here on the ECM, which is right there in the middle. That means you get your forward and aft antenna jamming if you get locked up by a SAM site. So if you had in the number one position, it would only do the aft portion and you could still use your radar. But since I'm going after a SAM site today, I want to use the number two position because I'm going to be using the forward and aft portion of the ALQ-184. I want to take full advantage of it. If you go to number three, it just constantly puts out all noise. But I don't want to do that right now, so I'm just going to use the number two position. So we're going to be turning back towards steer point one here. And we're going to be talking about the whiz here for the harm attack display. Let me just head that way. 
Again, on the RWR, we have a number three, which is the tracking radar of the SA-3, which is what we want to destroy. And when we destroy that, we're going to go in and use the CBU-105s to take out everything else. Okay, we'll maintain this heading here. You never want to fly directly at a SAM site. That's not always a good thing. So we're currently about 22.8 miles away from steer point one, which is where that SA-3 is, which is designated by that diamond right there. We'll turn on the autopilot just to keep it straight and level here for a second. Okay, so this is the harm attack display, and right here is the WES of the HTS pod, or the harm. So basically, basically whatever you fire at within this uh, WES here with the harm, it should reach that target area. We can actually bring the range down here to 30. And over here you can see some numbers, which are green and yellow. If we use the TSD and move it around, and wherever you put the TSD and hit the pinky switch, it zooms in. You have two expand modes. So there's expand one and expand again. That's expand two. So number uh, three is green, which means that there was a radar on and is not emitting anymore. So the three has gone offline, the tracking radar. But the S is a search radar, it's yellow. That means that the radar is currently uh, emitting a transmission right now. So if we want to turn back towards that three and see if we can get it to come online, because we wanted to get the tracking radar online to essentially fire a harm at it and take out that tracking radar. So the SA-3 site will not be able to shoot a missile at us. And then we'll go in and get closer and put some cluster bombs on it. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right. Let's turn towards this site here. You can also use your HSD for the threat rings. So that's the threat engagement ring for the SA-3 site. We can bring the range down actually. So if we get inside here, we should be getting fired at by an SA-3. The 3 is now on the RWR again, so it is emitting, and it went yellow on the the HAD page here. We'll expand and TMS forward short. Alright, so now you can see that there's a red box on the 3. That means that we have successfully handed off the harm missile to the tracking radar of the SA-3. Now you can see right now I'm flying off to the right of this SA-3, so we're staying outside the engagement zone of the SA-3, but we're within the zone, or the WES, of the HARM and the HTS pod here to take out this SA-3 site if we want to. Now if we fire at HARM right now, it'll take 44 seconds to get to that location, and this is the current time of impact. So right now we're going to make our way towards that SA-3 site, but we're going to show you a cool little trick here first. So staying outside the threat engagement zone, we're going to bring up the TGP. And remember the TGP is on the right hand side of the aircraft. But the TGP is now looking directly at this SA-3 site. Now we can actually make this a mark point if we want, so we can refine this area here. So here's the SA-3 site. We'll go to point track mode. We'll click on mark. It does say TGP on the DED. TMS forward short to make a mark point. And if we hit M cell right here, or number zero, it says steer point. That is now our speed. We'll return get out of that. So we have the TGP looking at our SA-3 site. And we need to come back around here so we can engage this tracking radar. So we'll make the head soy again with display management switch aft. Expand the FOV so we can see this number three. So we got the S, we don't want that, we want the three. There we go, I use TMS aft short to get rid of the S. All right, most important thing right now, we're within the, the WES of the harm. We're also looking with the TGP at the SA-3 site. You don't need to do this, but it is recommended. And also we're in PGM-2, so it goes PGM-1 through 5. The lower the number, the more accurate the harm location is going to hit. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a fire or a shot right now. You can also see there's a dynamic launch zone right here. We're within that. You don't have to be pointed directly at the site. Now, remember, since we're almost 90 degrees off the site here, the harm is going to have to go forward and take an immediate left-hand turn to get over there. So it's going to lose some energy, but we are pretty close, so it should reach no problem. All right, weapon release. There goes the harm. The harm is on the way to that SA-3 site. We're actually being logged by an SA-6 site from a different waypoint, so we're going to turn around. SA-3 site is spiking us right now, which is good, because that means that the tracking radar is online, and that harm should find that tracking radar, no problem. Now, also the ECM right here, there's a bunch of T's there. That means that we are transmitting with the ALQ-184. SA-3 site just fired at us, but we just destroyed the radar site. So the tracking radar is down. So what did we learn today? We learned about the HAD, how to fire it at a tracking radar, how to make a mark point, use the TGP to look at the location, and now we're going to follow up this attack with CBU-105s. So we'll go to the SMIS page, OSB-6, CBU-105s, go back to the TGP, make it our SOI with display management switch aft, and let's look for a uh, target here. We'll come over here to the right, get a better picture with the TGP. We were masked there for a second. So here are the launchers right here. We're going to put a CBU right there. We are coming around. Ten miles out. That's an SA-6. At a different location, you can see that on the head right here, and it's pretty far away. We're almost within range of the CBU-105, looking at the DLZ here. Alright, we're within range. One away, we have two of them, and we'll put the other one right here. Two away. Alright, we got two away, and let's get out of here. That's my favorite. That's my favorite sound right there, chaff flare. Let's put down some flare just in case there's a man pad or something down there. All right, let's get out of here. That caution is for our stores config. We'll go back to stores config one now since we don't have any more air to ground munitions. Again, thank you all for watching my video on the F-16 and why it is the seed king. Today we learned how to use the harm attack display with the HTS pod how to fire a harm missile at the tracking radar, followed up with a CBU attack to take out the whole entire site. And wow, that was pretty awesome. So again, thank you for the support. Please like and subscribe, share it with your squad mates, and we'll see you on the next video.